This recording is to supplement the article on common bottle nose dolphin songs. I'm including here the songs of the Inuit, one from Russia and the other from the Americas. But humans have had songs since the dawn of the evolution of homin hominids. Music, as in food and art, are important to release the Mieber, which affects cultural and evolutionary freedom from releasing the Mieber innate response. So it's very important for cultural development and societal development to have culture that promotes a high level of social consciousness. Culture is important to society. The Inuit are hunters and gatherers, and there are a group that herd caribou, and the caribou are going extinct because they don't know why, but probably because of global warming. There, there are mass, mass die-offs of caribou. And the Eskimo or the Inuit rely on the caribou. Many clans rely on them. And what's interesting though is that I imagine the ones, the Inuits that relied on herding the reindeer for their livelihood is probably affected their culture in a good way because it had greatly reduced stress. Now, I don't think this has been studied, but I think it should be studied. The difference between the culture of the Inuit who herd reindeer and those that survive from hunting seal, from going to the blowhole of a seal on the ice and pulling the seal up out of the ice to hunt them. So I think this is, would be an important study if it can be done. I don't know, maybe it's too late. Maybe there's not enough caribou left for this kind of a study, a comparative cultural anthropological study. However, I would imagine that the culture is quite different between the two Inuit. I have one song I'm including from the Inuit this herding that I sing. And then I'm singing another song from the Inuit of North America. And I don't know what kind of ecology the Inuit had in North America who sang the song. But there's a lot of drumming, loud, loud drumming. And there needs to be a kind of an ethogram done of the two cultures if they still exist. Because as I said, the caribou are rapidly dying due to the, you can see on internet, a search on the internet, they're rapidly dying due to probably global warming. And we need to save these species, so hopefully uh, you can help uh, to save such a species as the vaquita porpoise. My idea to save the vaquita porpoise is to get funding from a direct mailing and use the money the money to help the fishermen to go outside the home range of the vaquita porpoise in the Gulf of California to have a port for fishermen outside the home range and then to monitor every sh boat in that goes into the home range of the vaquita porpoise to make certain there are no, to inspect the boats to make sure no boat goes fishing boat goes into the home range with a gill net. Because it isn't a problem of intentionally killing the porpoise, it's incidental catch with illegal gill nets. So it's an illegal activity that's endangering the lives of a quito porpoise. And I think there's only about 10 left. So please uh, write me a letter if you want to, an uh, e-post letter to res research specifics at yandex.com to help to save the vaquita porpoise. It's easy to save them, like they save the panda with a, a government program, and it, it could be a low-cost government program to bust the fishermen out of the home range of the vaquita porpoise, which is only about an hour bus ride 
so they can save their vacuity purpose and they can make a comeback, uh, which is realistic with the help of many uh, conservationists, environmentalists, and with the help of the Mexican government. Here is my interpretation of the Inuit, a song of the Inuits from Russia who heard caribou for their livelihood. Hey, Antati, oh, you. Say, Antati, oh, yan. Say, Antati, Here is my interpretation of the Inuit from the North America. I don't know their ecology, but I took out, the, in my interpretation, I don't include the heavy drumming, which I did hear, and uh, it's quite aggressive drumming. But the, it's the reason I'm including the songs of hunters and gatherers, including of the Kalahari Bushmen, and the song of the Inuit from the herding caribou Inuit from Russia, and these Inuit is because I want to remind the reader that these are legatarian societies, and they have less aggressive interactions than the normal society, uh, a modern society. And it's to get the reader to have a reference point that the animals have various degrees of complexity of song, the different animal species, and to remind the reader that those with the greatest cultural and evolutionary freedom are the ones with the most complex song. And to compare humans with animals, it's best to make, to realize that hunters and gatherers have an elegitarian society, which uh, the common bottlenose dolphin also has. <laughs> It is inferred from the United Nations today not being effective and from the proof of two new theories of evolution upon which Chiquic psychology is based. It is also based on the Meeber innate response that and inferred from Chiquic psychology having been shown beyond a shadow of a doubt to be more effective, speedier, less disruptive, more versatile, in harmony with human nature, and from there not being any losers with use of G-Quick psychology. That there needs to be a new United Nations 
can also infer from the common bottlenose dolphins, uh, egalitarian society, and their exceptional evolutionary freedom, that we need to consider, because the new United Nations is not functioning well, it's not effective, uh, it's important to realize that we need to try to solve global problems with a new psychology. And in doing so, we can establish a new United Nations based on proving the worth of the new psychology. And so that you don't need to convince everybody to, you don't need to be a dictator and say, now let's do away with the old United Nations. That will never work. What you need to do, what we need to do, is prove that G Quick psychology is better for solving global problems, and in that way we can adopt an effective, speedier, less disruptive, and more versatile from being based on the peaceful composure theorem, United Nations. Saving the Mill Valley redwood trees, saving the vacuity porpoise are, is a good way to start to prove the effectiveness of G-Quick psychology.